Hello everyone, back again here. I have a Polestar 2 with a 12 volt battery that's dead. There's also a backup battery, t cam battery, that's also dead. I'm going to replace those, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Let's pop the hood here. And underneath the hood here, I want you to remove all these plastic clips all the way around and then I want you to remove all these plastic covers here. This is what it should look like with the covers removed. I now want you to turn around and remove this 8 millimeter bolt, this 8 millimeter bolt, and this 8 millimeter bolt, and also this 8 millimeter bolt. After removing those bolts, I want you to remove this divider and underneath here there will be a 10 millimeter bolt here and then also here down here there will be a 10 millimeter bolt here I want you to remove. Now that all the bolts are out of the front you can turn around and pick it up out and remove it. With the front removed the 12 volt battery is exposed now. To start off I want you to remove this 8 millimeter bolt, this 8 millimeter bolt, this 8 millimeter bolt, and this 8 millimeter bolt. With those four bolts removed, this bracket will just slide right out and I want you to put it to the side. On the driver's side of the vehicle, you have your positive terminal and you have your negative terminal. Underneath here is a 10 millimeter nut. I want you to loosen that up and I also want you to loosen this 10 millimeter nut up. With the terminals loose I want you to come over to this plug on negative terminal and work it loose. I then want you to take the positive terminal and work it up and move it to the side and the same thing with this negative terminal. I want you to work it up since it's loose and put it to the side over here. It should look like this. I then want you to loosen this strap up here. This is the way the battery should look before removal. I now want you to grab onto the handle and I want you to pull the battery forward and out of the vehicle. Here's the old battery out of the vehicle and the part number and Here's the new replacement we're putting in with the part number. I now want you to install the new 12 volt battery. With the battery installed, I want you to make sure that the battery sits flush and all the way in its carriage here. And now I want you to grab the positive terminal and work its way back on and I want you to tighten this 10 millimeter nut down. I now want you to reinstall this bracket here and put the one, two, three, four, eight millimeter bolts back in. I now want you to come over to the negative terminal here and I want you to make sure it's snug and flush like so and I want you to install this plug and then I want you to lock down this 10 millimeter nut here and make sure it's secure. This is how it should look before reinstalling the frunk here. Putting the frunk back in I want you to secure these four 8 millimeter bolts and then also these two 10 millimeter bolts in here. I want you to secure this battery strap here and make sure it's tight. I now want you to put the center divider back in and start installing the plastic covers underneath the hood here. I now want you to reinstall all the clips for the plastic covers. With the 12 volt battery now being installed, we can close the hood now and install the T-CAM battery backup. 
I now want you to come to the trunk of the vehicle and open it up. With the trunk open, I want you to come over to this panel here and I want you to pull back on it like this. I don't want you to pull completely back, but just enough like this. Pulling the panel back, as you see, I just stick something in there to wedge the panel back so that I can get my hand in this area here. And now I want you to take a screwdriver and stick it in this hole and release the tab here. The tab that you're pushing on is this tab here, and what it'll do is release this battery. I want you to disconnect this tab here and release the clip from here. Here's a view of the old battery and the part number. And it's the same part number, but here's the box. And here is the new battery that's going to be installed. And I want you to take the battery and reinstall it until you hear the clip. And now I want you to reinstall this panel here. I want you to make sure that the trim and this panel sits flush. Now that the 12 volt battery and the T-CAM battery is installed, it's time to grab your diagnostic tool and program the battery. The diagnostic tool I'm using is called Vita. And under the diagnostic tab here, I want you to go to fault tracing and under the function tab here, I want you to select electrical distribution 12 volt system. And then under the components and actions, I want you to select 4 221. It's going to be the battery monitoring sensor BMS right here. Under the diagnostic sequence tab I want you to select resetting the information to zero on the power supply when replacing the battery. Right here. Before starting this procedure I want you to carefully read all these instructions here. and all the warnings. Vita is very specific, you don't want to miss any steps at all. Let's proceed. The test is now running and it is successful. What this does is tell the onboard charger not to charge the battery as much as it previously did. And it's time to clear the codes now. And as you'll see, the voltage here is not charging. When you clear the codes, what happens, the vehicle should start charging. It takes a minute here for it to clear. It is a little bit slow, but it's a great program. Let's update it here. I want you to read all the warnings here. And as you see here, it already started charging. All right, this concludes my test of how to put a 12 volt battery in. Thank you for watching. Fully charged zone.